have the right to an informed opinion, and that it was they needed to articulate what they thought about conditions in Belarus. And the students that went back after a year and a half in an American environment, in this case, although it could be an environment in the EU, understood that maybe they could change something. Now, at what level? Both students were graduates of education programs. One of them was at the, at the Sadok level, at the primary level. Mm -hmm. And the last thing she told me was, I am going to reform education at the nursery level in Belarus because it's not Belarusian enough. Right? And I looked at her and I thought, I hope. Thank you, Paula. I hope that you can. But this student came without any sense of what power she could have to connect her knowledge and her energy to change in Belarus. Right? And it doesn't happen in Belarus. It can't for all of the reasons that you've already described. There's some amazing intellects in Belarus, but their hands are tough. You know? And young people get degrees, but don't understand what it really means to practically have an education. And if you are privileged enough to be educated, that you should be applying that knowledge to make the conditions better for everyone, not just for yourself. So that's the challenge in terms of having a practical strategy for making a difference. And it happens in very little small pieces. You know, one nursery school teacher in this case, right? But it's the only way we can think of to disturb the, 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 the situation at, at a very quiet level and maybe to make a difference. Because the people are good, the brains are excellent, the desire is there. But to, to demonstrate the need to go back and to make a difference there is a very, very important component. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Let's make a break. Cuts. Uh -huh. uh